This is Alex Rowe reporting for Glass Online from Glass Tech 2022. And I'm here with Martin Tunau, the Head of Communications and Marketing for Foreglass. Martin, tell us something about Foreglass, please, what it does. Foreglass is an engineering company primarily. We develop technologies for glass melting. So we work on furnaces, of course, and batch plants. Uh, in addition to this, we also provide an array of auxiliary equipment for glass producers worldwide. Very good. And what are you showcasing at this year's Glass Tech? Well, we actually have uh, three revolutionary technologies that we've just developed, and uh, we're showcasing them here in this cinema that's right behind us. Uh, we've created three animations that explain those three technologies, and they deal with reducing energy consumption, and what comes with that, of course, is uh, emissions. And um, we're presenting three technologies. I can mention them uh, really briefly. One is a collet preheater. Another one is a mixing electrode. Third, maybe the most fascinating, is the new hybrid furnace that Forklas developed, which is really based on classic design of a fossil fuel operated furnace, but it allows glass producers to move into electric heating as the needs arise. Okay, and how have these new products been received by your customers? It's been tremendous. I think both the technologies themselves that they were presenting, uh, as well as the form in which they are being presented with these animations, um, it's, it's been tremendous. We've had meetings booked from morning to evening. This is really just the first hour that we've had a bit of a breather. Uh, so I would say Glastec overall has been tremendous for, for Glass since the very beginning. We'll be coming back for sure for many, many years. Good to hear. And how has 2022 been for Foreglass? Well, as you know, we've had many challenges uh, related to the pandemic and a lot of uh, problems created with the recent invasion of Ukraine, um, which caused glass producers a lot of headaches with fuel, of course. So uh, we've overcome these challenges, I think, primarily because of the commitment that we've made both to the industry and to our employees we're able to fulfill contracts right now that many other suppliers are not because they've let go of their employees. Uh, we've kept everyone on board, so when pandemic stopped and we were able to travel again, uh, we were able to jump right in. So we're able to perform, uh, for example, hot overcoating services, which require tremendous mobilization of employees and, and um, equipment uh, that other suppliers were not able to, were not able to do. Very good, good news. It's been good. Very good news. And what are your expectations for 2023? Well, I think uh, the main thing that we're looking into is, of course, the hybrid technologies, the increase in the use of electricity in heating. We have some revolutionary tools that we've created that allow producers to move into electric heating gradually rather than jumping into an 80-20 hybrid furnace. So we're looking at uh, quite a bit of an increase in both interest and production of these types of equipment. Very interesting. Thank you very much for your time, Martin. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>